I hope you're well and that you're having a good morning. I wanted to come on and share uh, 1 Corinthians 6, um, right there, 19. Uh, yeah. So it says, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is within you, whom you have received as a gift from God? Glory to God. And that you are not your own property. And that you are not your own property. Wow. You were bought with a price. You were bought. Sorry, you were actually. So I'll say that again. You were bought with a price. You were actually purchased with the blood of Jesus. And made his own. Glory to God. So then honour and glorify God with your body. Glory to God. What a beautiful scripture. So that's 1 Corinthians uh, 6, 19 and 20. If you can in your own time. I want you to meditate on that, those two scriptures. It's so awesome. But the more we, we, we meditate on, on the scripture, it's that the more in all we are, you know, of God. It's like, wow, this is the truth about us. This is our true identity. You know, this is our true identity. Not what the world says, but what the Lord says. I was purchased. We, we, this is what we think when we, we meditate on the word, is that, you know, were purchased with the blood of Jesus and we're the temple of the Holy Spirit and we're the property of God. To meditate on that is so amazing and so awesome. And so if you will meditate on that today, just those two scriptures, it's just mind blowing, isn't it? It's mind blowing. So it's our true identity in the Lord. How amazing. How amazing. Sorry. The camera. Um, I'm trying to hold it up, sorry. Uh, so yes, praise the Lord. You know, I was just thinking about this today. You know, and how much the enemy, which is the world, the temptations that we face, how much the enemy tries to, you know, the adversary, the one that the Lord tells us about in the Bible. And I always refer to Ephesians 6, it is the warfare that and that are, that a Christian faces, every every Christian, we know this. But how much the enemy tries to fight holiness and you know, we're sanctified by God, purified, made holy unto God. And if the enemy can make us laugh at dirty jokes, you know, and if the enemy can make us, you know, be in the flesh. Going out there and having sex outside of marriage. I don't know, abusing our bodies like um, smoking and drinking. And yes, that's it, that's included. You know, because we don't belong to ourselves, do we? Like the Lord is saying. You might think, well, I'm a believer and I, I do those things. And I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you at all. Um, I just want to meditate today on how we are the property of God. We belong to Him. You know. You know, we're God's babies. We're His children. And when anyone or anything, He He like like a father and a child and a baby. If anybody tries to harm that baby, the father is up in arms. The father is so protective. He holds the baby tight and he protects and ste steps in. That's the word. He steps in for the baby, doesn't he? Or the mum. We'll step in for that child and protect that child. And that's what God is like with us. And... He's protective over us. So anything that he leads us to do, he's doing it for our protection and for our good. And today I just want you to meditate on the fact that you're the property of God. And that you are you are carrying him with you wherever you go. If you're a believer, you've given your heart to Jesus. You're a living, breathing, walking temple of God. And you are... You are... A missile for God in that you're carrying his presence with you 
You can pray, you can speak a word, and there can be change and a shift in the atmosphere as a child of God. And let's meditate on that today. You know, don't feel discouraged and don't feel intimidated in situations where you might feel, you know, you're out of your depth. Remember, you know, that the Lord is the one that does the work. The one thing that, you know, the Lord always, and sorry, the enemy, sorry, always used to, like, the things that, you know, the things of picking at yourself and, like, criticizing your own body, things like my wrist, like, is the shape, but the size, really small size. And looking at my wrist, I think, you know, they're so small. And, and that, you know, what can I do? I'm only small, you know, I'm only like four foot ten and a half. What can someone so small do, you know, and things like that to make me focus on things that, you know, I'm so small and that when I'm in a situation, you're out of your depth, look at you, you know, people tower over you and, you know, you are, you are um, just, you know, a twig of a little wrist. And I'm being honest, that's the things that the enemy can make you feel like you are nothing and that you are insignificant but it's not true because we are the temple of the holy spirit of god and this is the truth and i don't think those things anymore that was earlier on in my christian walk and even you know even i say when i became a new christian and which was a long time a while ago and I don't think that anymore, but what I know, and this is the word of God, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20 is our portion. 16, but um, 1 Corinthians 16, sorry, 1 Corinthians 6, I beg your pardon, verse 19 to 20. This is our portion from the Lord. This is our truth. This is our identity. And I want you to meditate on that today. If you're someone that looks at yourself as, what can I do? What can the Lord do with me? I want you to remember today that you're a temple of the Holy Spirit. And that when you walk into a situation, you can pray. And there is power because of the Lord. Not because of us, we're just vessels. We're vessels, earthen vessels. Chosen for honour. Not common use for honor so come in use you know that's not our portion doing the things of the world we are vessels of honor because the lord knows our name and we open our hearts to jesus and we carry the temple of the holy spirit within us and we are we carry the temple of the holy spirit within us and we we are the temple of the holy spirit within us sorry and we are the property of god this is our truth so today, be encouraged to know that you are who God says you are. You are who God says you are. Not what your friends say. Not what strangers say. Not the opinion of people. But God, remember that today. You are who God says you are. Not what people think. Not what people say that, you know, their opinions don't matter. Just the opinion of God. Remember that you're a, a missile for Jesus. You can pray and speak a word to someone and they will be lifted up. They will be encouraged and strengthened because of the power that's at work within you. You can, you know, go forth and share the word of the Lord. Love people and, and you know, be all that God has for you to, to, to be because you have him. You have the Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, this is that. This is our portion. This is our truth. And this is our identity. Not what the Lord, not what, sorry, what not what the enemy says. When in those, you know, things that we do, when we pick at ourselves and we look at our body and we say, oh, but this, 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 this. That's not of God. You know, let's learn to love ourselves. Let's learn to remember that we are the property of God. And that we are made in his image with vessels for him, vessels of honor, not common use, and we're his property today.
remember that today in Jesus name and know that you can do all things in Christ who strengthens you no matter how you are as a person you can be used by God you can be used by the Lord to love people to help people to, to um, pray speak a word give encouragement to people and, and go forth in, in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the only one of us is left to do this YouTube channel and, and the Lord started to put things in my heart to do I used to laugh and to, I was laughing with the Lord on prayer I was saying laughing because I, I you know I was like Lord you want me to do all these things but you know look at me you know and 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 this and that and people are like this with me and that with me and I'm laughing because I'm like, you want me to do all these things Lord but this but people do this and people do that and I'm laughing but the Lord uses those who are rejected he uses those who are looked down upon um, and who are not seen as anything who are left out who who disqualify themselves because of for whatever reason but the Lord has qualified us and he lives within us and those those negative things are not the truth and they're not our portion and it's not the word of God the word of God is that we are property of God and we carry the Holy Spirit with us so today know that go forth in the power of the Lord in the power of the Holy Spirit of God and know that God is with you and you can do all things if he's put something on your heart to do you can do that and remember the enemy will try the temptations the things in the world the adversary will try and pull you away so that you don't honor God so that you are so he can fight your holiness because he knows that you're a temple of the Holy Spirit and if he can defile you through things in the world which is sex outside of marriage doing all manner of things that are not of God that don't honor God then he will try and pull you into that so stand firm and resist and say no because your reward is with Jesus and it's from the Lord and you're growing that power because of your obedience to God and your hunger for the Lord and you will go forth and you will pull people out of that darkness those temptations that the enemy tried to pull you into you'll pull people from those temptations and out of that darkness rather than jump in with them you'll pull them out of that temptation and out of that darkness rather than jump in the darkness with them and they will be changed and they will be come to know the Lord and they'll have changed hearts you know you don't underestimate the power of your prayers remember the Lord says that the prayers of the righteous availeth much glory to God let's pray let's pray and glory to God thank you Jesus we love you we thank you that you know our name thank you that you are with us Lord and that we are known by you that we are temples of the Holy Spirit and that you are um, our God and that we are your property Lord help us to remember the words that you say to us Lord and not what others say and not the things that we pick at ourselves and say but help us to remember Lord that you are the one who speaks over us you are the one who is our identity and we are secure in you and we are safe in Jesus name Amen.